Libra and welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles. My name is Rosa and I am coming in with your weekly love reading where in this video we are going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you. This is a general love reading and if it resonates hit that like button to let me know and if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community but you haven't had the opportunity to do so feel free to subscribe this reading can be good for Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising Libra placements and to the cross watchers checking in on a Libra you're also welcome. However I do advise just to take the messages as they best resonate for you and if you feel Libra and cross watcher that your messages are not here then please feel free to check out your Moon sign, your Rising sign and your Venus sign as your messages may be waiting over there. Furthermore, Libra, I'm currently not uh, un not taking on any personal readings, uh, but please do keep an ear, ear out and an eye out for when I am back up and running with the personals. I'm just focusing on creating content here on the channel for now. As you can see, Libra, I've already drawn an animal spirit card. This is the energy of the person that you are currently thinking of, dealing with and connecting to in love. So let me reveal this now. They're coming through as the fire ant. This upward pointing triangle does represent fire. Um, so it could be that your person is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, if they're not a fire sign, Libra, that's okay. This is just the energy that your person is embodying this week. Okay, so when I tune into the energy of the fire ant, I'm feeling like there is someone here who, now this isn't going to be for everyone, but I feel like this is someone who might be annoyed or irritated with you, Libra. They might be annoyed at you for some reason. Um, mm. The fire ant suggests like irritation. You may have gotten under this person's skin more than they would care to admit or more than they would like to admit. I feel like this person might be feeling annoyed at themselves because they're allowing you to get to them or to bother them in some way. Hmm. I mean, it could very well be someone who is very interested in you also, Libra, but it's like they're annoyed that they're annoyed. Mm. I'm not sure why they're annoyed, but we'll break it down. It could be also, Libra, that this person may be showing signs of like showing red flags. Okay, sometimes I see the fire ant as a toxic energy. So maybe Maybe you're not interested in this person because you you are listening to the red flags. You're picking up that this person might be toxic or carry, you know, toxic tendencies, patterns or behaviours. Mm, I guess we'll break it down. So let's understand why this person is coming through as the fire ant spirit. Tell us more about this person's energy. Why are they coming through as the fire ant energy and then we'll take a look at their feelings towards you Libra let's have a look here the moon mm. okay well just by looking at that alone this would tell me that this person is irritated or annoyed with you because I feel like this person may have strong feelings for you uh, they are suppressing these feelings. Maybe because they're, they're unclear or they're unsure here because the moon can bring uncertainty of how you feel about them. Hmm. I'm getting an energy of someone whose emotions are very heightened right now. I get, I, I get a sense here that someone's triggered. Someone has been triggered. 
maybe you've touched a sore point with this person Libra and the moon because yeah, remember earlier I did say that you are under this person's skin more than they like to admit okay more than they would care to admit here the moon is suppression so this is someone who is trying to suppress these emotions that they have which is only festering, like this is a festering underneath the surface. It's only the problem is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Which might reveal um, in this person's behavior. So you may, you may see something... you may see or witness uh, a different kind of behavior within this person. And that might be alerting you to pay attention. It's like a warning sign. Okay. Um, the nine of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, I can see this person fancies you. Hmm. They fancy you. Because they're viewing you as someone who is very confident. Um, maybe kind of just enjoying life right now. They feel like with the Nine of Pentacles that you really don't want to have anything to do with this person. I feel like you might be bringing up some kind of insecurity within them because they're seeing you as confident and they're coming through here with the moon card as insecure. Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like they, they may be feeling like they're not good enough for you, Libra. That's what I'm getting. Okay, what else? The chariot. Cancerian energy. Hmm. Let me just have a look at this. Nine of Pentacles and the chariot. Well, I don't feel like the chariot is moving here, Libra. This person may be fearing here that you don't want to have anything to do with them because the chariot is about, you know, moving a relationship forward, moving a connection forward, moving a situation forward, but they feel that this person feels like you're, you're not wanting to move things forward with them. Mm. they're unsure they're unclear here as to what your intentions are with this person and that's why they're feeling irritated or annoyed okay i'm just going to clarify the chariot why is the chariot here spirit why is the chariot here the star card yeah it's an Aquari Aquarius energy, so you could be connecting to an Aquarius. This person puts you up on a pedestal, Libra. I'm seeing the star as someone who has been giving you a lot of star treatment or special treatment here, but they feel that you are out of reach. They feel that you may have even distanced yourself from this person. Mm. That's what I'm getting here. Yeah, this person is highly sensitive and emotional.
And with the star card, it would suggest that this person may be trying to let go of some negative emotions that they are suppressing. Maybe this person's trying to release you. I feel like they're trying to move on or they're trying to release you. They're trying to forget about you, but I don't exactly feel like it's working, Libra. Let's take a look at this person's current feelings towards you. All right, current feelings towards Libra. What have we got here? The Page of Cups. Yeah. Yeah. This is water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Look, this person has very strong feelings for you, Libra. Mm. This is someone who daydreams about you. Uh, this is someone who is fantasizing about you. They're coming across as very sweet, caring. Uh, but I also see the Page of Cups as insecure, someone who is insecure. Okay, the Page of Cups also puts uh, relationships up high on a pedestal. So I really do feel that this person thinks the world of you or thinks very highly of you. And, um, and because they think and feel this way about you, it bothers them or it irritates them. It annoys them that they have these feelings for you. Mm. All right, what else? Look at that, the Queen of Cups. Page of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Mm. I get the feeling here that this person would like to express their feelings towards you. Or maybe they already have expressed how they feel, Libra but maybe you haven't reciprocated or you haven't mentioned how you feel towards this person. And the reason why I say that is because the Queen of Cups, she's holding the Holy Grail and, and the Holy Grail in this cup has a lid on it. So I feel that you, on an emotional level, are keeping quite controlled. Whereas this person here, the Page of Cups has an open cup with a fish in it. So I feel like this person has or wants to express and communicate their feelings. Or maybe it's them. I, I, I see here that they would like to express how they feel, but they maybe are trying to control their emotions and feelings here. I, I see the Queen of Cups as a passive energy. This is someone who feels that they just need to maybe stay quiet or stay silent about their feelings. Mm. Because I am kind of getting here, Libra, that this person may start to recognize or see here that their feelings in this connection are one side, so like the, the love or the feelings here are one sided. Because the moon and the page of cups is here and this is strong Pisces energy and Pisceans or Pisces energy is all about illusions, not seeing something clearly. This is someone who daydreams and fantasizes about you quite heavily, Libra. But it's like, it's not all is as it seems here. Uh, six of Cups, yeah, all right. Okay, so to this person, you are someone who is very special to them with the Six of Cups. There's a lot of Cups cards here, which suggests that this person has very strong feelings for you, Libra. The Six of Cups is here, so it would tell me that this person is missing you. So I don't feel like maybe you have had any interactions with this person, especially with the Star card here, because this person is feeling like you're out of reach or you're 
you've maybe distanced yourself and so they're coming in missing you here they're in this missing you uh, reminiscing about you feeling sentimental remembering the good times or the better times or that you shared together or they're just they're living in the past because maybe that's all they've got right that's all they've got to hold on to is like a moment that you shared together and it's kind of like they're hoping here that you can have a moment like this again okay they're hoping that you can have a moment like this again mm. for some of you with the queen of cups this person feels like you would make a great um mother or a parent to their children because I am seeing a lot of children here but this is someone who idolizes you they or they feel like you're their ideal person or their ideal partner mm. what's the six of cups why is the six of cups here why is the six of cups here in this person's current feelings what have we got look at that more cups knight of cups yeah look libra this person has strong romantic feelings for you strong romantic feelings i am getting a sensitivity coming around or coming through this person mm. Mm. Like I said, Libra, I feel like this person wants to act on their feelings towards you, but they're just not sure if that would be a good idea. And I feel like it's because the Nine of Pentacles is here, because they're viewing you as someone who maybe is just happy to live the single life. Or it's just that they feel like they're not good enough for you but I can see here that they would like to you know come towards you with a romantic offer I can see it here let's take a look at your feelings just quickly spirit angels and guides how does Libra feel towards this person how does Libra feel towards this person tell us more about Libra's current feelings towards this person okay judgment Hmm. that's interesting because the judgment card can sometimes speak to a past relationship so this could be someone from the past Libra okay let's see what else ace of swords judgment card and the ace of swords okay well it's saying here that you might be open to giving this person a second chance this is telling me here libra that you may be open to giving this person a second chance mm. i know that's very specific let's just grab another card the five of swords ah okay so this is someone that you had a falling out with mm this five of swords suggests that you had a falling out with this person or maybe you felt like this person played too many mind games or played games with you here mm. what i'm seeing here because libra this person is coming through as a lot of water energy like page of cups queen of cups the moon is here the six of cups the knight of cups this is a lot of watery energy and water people tend to feel uh, very deeply um, and they're kind of also prone to get their feelings hurt so i feel like this person admires you and thinks the world of you here with the star card they really really do and they would love they would love nothing more than to come towards you 
However, what do people also don't want to get hurt? And they do this by coming across as maybe not caring or acting detached at times because I am seeing the Knight of Cups. He's wearing his armor. So he's coming, he's, he's decked out in armor, which suggests, you know, that even though this person is capable of feeling very deeply, they're also afraid of getting their heart broken or their feelings hurt. So, and, and you may have kind of read that as well this person's playing games with me um mm. yeah because the five of swords it, it is a card of conflict it's a card of conflict and you have felt conflicted with this person you too have also felt like, you know, it's a connection or a situation that brings a lot of uncertainty and you just want clarity, Ace of Swords. You just want clarity. You don't want the BS that comes with it. So they, they like you, they want to be with you or they don't, right? Don't come with the BS. That's kind of what you're saying here. Don't, don't bring the BS. Don't bring the bullshit. I just want the truth. I just want the truth with the Ace of Swords. I just want you to be clear. I just want you to tell me how you feel. Mm. Look, you may have even felt like you needed to call this person out. You may have needed to, yeah, call them out on their BS. Maybe you already have had done this and that's why they are annoyed or irritated to, at you here. Mm. okay let's take a look at their next actions towards you libra what will this person's next actions be towards libra spirit what will this person's next actions be towards libra mm. i see that you still think about this person libra yeah Okay, next actions towards you, the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, ooh, the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, the King of Pentacles, lots of uh, Pentacle energy here, Earth energy. You could be connecting to an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But Earth is good. Earth is good. Um because this would tell me that this person is going to, you know, take practical steps. Practical steps towards you. Mm. Um, with the King of Pentacles here, I feel like with regards to their actions, they want to show you here that you can lean on them or you can rely on them. They want to show you that they're devoted and committed to you. Um, they want to provide greater stability. I'm seeing that here, even with the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who wants to provide you greater stability. They don't want to bring you uncertainty because I see it here. For you, you're feeling like this is a situation that brings you too much uncertainty. But this is someone who wants to bring you greater stability here. The Ten of Pentacles, this is long-term relationship. This is someone who is really wanting to spend the rest of their life with you. Hmm. I feel like their actions towards you also is to bring balance and harmony back to the relationship or back to the connection here. Yeah. I feel like this person wants to be more generous with you, 
They want to be more generous of their time, attention. Uh, they want to spend quality time here. You know, the Six of Pentacles, it's about feeling generous. It's a, it's a card of generosity. Yeah, it's, it's about two people who, you know, both equally pour into a connection and that's what they that's what they want i'm just going to clarify the six of pentacles yeah the king of cups so this is really interesting that the king of cups is showing up here because he hasn't showed up in the reading yet it's been the knight it's been the queen it's been the page but i really because see the, the thing is here libra is that's why you maybe have had a falling out with this person or you have felt like you couldn't trust this person because they weren't coming towards you with the King of Cups energy. And the King of Cups, this is someone who brings emotional stability. This is someone who is open hearted. This is someone who is available uh, for love. Whereas the Knight of Pentacles... Uh, sorry, the Knight of Cups, he's, yes, this is someone who has romantic feelings for you and this person may have acted on their romantic feelings towards you but still very guarded, whereas the King of Cups, he's not guarded. He doesn't have a closed heart. He is open. He is available. He is ready. This is someone who is in control of their emotions, so I do feel that this person here with the fire ant energy, can you see? Like I, I see some clearing or healing of maybe some, you know, triggers or negative emotions that they've been suppressing. I feel like they need to release this or heal through this because this is the action that they're taking towards you that they haven't done up to this point. They haven't, done, they haven't taken this action up to this point. Mm. This is someone who has been acting sensitive or this is someone who has been allowing their emotions to control them, but it's going to be the other way around now. This is someone who is going to be much more in control of their emotions, bringing a lot more emotional security and stability to the relationship. Hmm. Let's have a look at this King of Pentacles. Tell me more about this King of Pentacles spirit. Yeah, this is someone who is... The King of Pentacles is also a disciplined king. A stable king. Someone who is going to put practical plans into place, you know. Uh, the Nine of Swords. So this would tell me... The Nine of Swords, I'm hearing it like insecurity. So this may be ultimately someone who is very insecure. But I see with the King of Pentacles that this is someone who is prepared to work through their own insecurities here. Hmm. Also, too, this could be your energy. So, like I said, with the King of Pentacles, this person wants to make, like, this person wants to put your mind at ease because this could be you sort of feeling like, mm, I'm not really sure if I should trust this person. Um, this person may bring a lot of troubled thoughts to you and you may feel like the stress of it isn't worth it but the king of pentacles wants to put your mind at ease this is someone who wants you to feel like you can lean on them or trust them mm. i hope that makes sense libra 
So they're your messages. I do hope that resonated. Libra, feel free to drop your comments in the comment section below if you felt that it connected with you here today and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.